So now let's move on to top five moments. So this doesn't have to just be wins or plays or whatever. Top five moments of this season. Dustin, as always, the fifth moment for you this year. My fifth was the West Virginia ass kicking. Just right. in general. Yeah. We didn't have very many games this year that were not pressure packed. This was one of them. We were able to go in there, take care of business real early, and it was really fun to watch us just kick ass and keep doing yeah. it. <laughs> just have JT Daniels just in a spin cycle of turnovers. And so it was a very nice, fun, relaxing game to watch. Yeah, don't ha- didn't have a lot of those. Uh, a <laughs> lot of overtime wins, a lot of thrilling wins. So it, it was definitely nice to kick some ass against West Virginia and Neil Brown. Um, who looks like he might be there for another year. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're whooping incoming. Um, <laughs> my fifth moment will go to the Iowa State win. Not a pretty game, hmm. but got you that bowl eligibility, got exactly. you that sixth win, uh, which was huge to start off the Joey McGuire era, reaching bowl eligibility uh, for back-to-back years. And so just... Uh, and he won in Ames. You don't have a whole lot of wins in Ames over the last several years. Um, yep. And to get that win over a program that kind of had passed you for a little bit um, oh, yeah. uh, was was really sweet. Uh, my number fourth moment is, is going to be a personal one, and that's just going to be tailgating with Red Raider Nation. <laughs> um, that was my three, but I'll make it my fourth also. <laughs> I just uh, – we had a good time. It's unfortunate that yeah. – um, our videos haven't gotten to us. Um, we want y'all to know that that is not a us thing. Uh, somebody else, uh, the nation was kind of responsible for that. And I don't want to take shots at them, but it's, it's unfortunate that we haven't been able to get that footage back. But um, so we still remember those moments and tailgating with all you guys. And it was a lot of fun meeting all of you guys. So Dustin, I'll let you give your shout out on that then. Yeah, that was going to be one of mine also with our, our tailgate scene. You know, we started out... We always went into these like nervous and unsure yeah. and then we'd get halfway through during and afterwards and be like, that was so freaking fun. Those people yeah. are awesome. The food was so good. This place is awesome. I mean, just some shout outs like Murray State and we started by the baseball and business building with Alden and that Greg Tailgater of the year last year, uh, two years ago, I guess. Met some cool people there. Uh, Houston game by the that North baseball lot with uh, Matador Mafia and yeah. that whole strip was really freaking cool. And really cool. A lot of fun. Um, Texas game in the West lot with Santa Claus, the Coca-Cola people, uh, and a couple baseball guys there. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, Paint West Doctor. Virginia. What's that? Paint Doctor. Paint we Doctor. Yeah. Paint Doctor as well. Yep. Yeah. And then West Virginia over south of the track. Uh, those people are pretty diehard over there also. Uh, lots of good stuff there from those folks. Um, yeah, lots of great tailgates and times and shots taken, beers drank with lots of good people. Yeah, that uh, we had to give that a shout out. It was just a lot of fun, a lot of beers, a lot of shots, a lot of good food, a lot of great people. And that's what we knew. That's what we wanted yeah. this to be was getting to meet those people. And so we had a good job. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to share all of those uh, fun interviews, questions and stuff with you guys. But who knows, maybe one day we'll get those videos and be able to post them for y'all to see. Uh, maybe one day. All right, Dustin, let's uh, move on to your third moment of the season. What do you got? My third? Some of those were a little tough for me. I didn't just, like, know where to go with these. But my third is going to be the field rush after the Oklahoma win on senior night. I mean, your first time to be Oklahoma and Texas in the same year. Like, a lot of these – students and some even some young fans haven't got to experience that many games like that in a field of rush yeah. um, and me and you know personally that's not how Oklahoma games usually end up that's how nope. they go that's how the Oklahoma but that's not how they end up so that was really cool especially for those seniors so that was awesome yeah I like that my third we will be field. yeah yeah we, we rushed we that, that that brought that out of us so um my third moment is uh, Patrick Mahomes being inducted into the uh, Ring of Honor in the Texas Tech Football Hall of Fame. Uh, it was not a game that we enjoyed, but it was a really cool experience to, yeah. to see Mahomes back 
a full crowd for halftime. You don't get that often. Um, and nobody was going to uh, get a drink, go to the bathroom during that time. Uh, we were all watching uh, him. And as much as it pains me that we didn't win more with him, it's still really cool to have this amazing of a professional quarterback that heralded from Texas Tech. And so it was just a really cool uh, cool experience to, to be there for that and see that. Uh, my number two moment is going to kind of be what your number three moment was, is, is Trey Wolf walking off Oklahoma in overtime and storming the field, just kind of all of that combined. And like you said, you know, we don't have a lot of wins over Oklahoma. And uh, to be able to do that at home, to end the season, to get that seventh win, to beat UT and OU in the same year, just a lot was really fun. Had a lot of good beverages that day. And so, you know, w- w- was just down for whatever and down to yeah. down to go rush the field. And so, yeah, rush the field. Got you, just, you haven't got to rush the field that much in your no. Texas Tech career. No, West Virginia was pretty much it. <laughs> I have. So I was like, no, we're going for you. <laughs> Yeah, and then we got to take a picture with Tony Bradford, one of our uh, goaded seniors. So, yeah, that just a fun night, fun win. So that definitely makes my top moments. Said, I think we're going to have similar top moments. Uh, your number one moment of the Texas Tech season. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on two. I'm on two. Oh, you're on two. Yeah, yeah, I started. My number so two, two, staying with yeah. the Oklahoma game, is – well, one, let me set it up. The first quarter was super terrible in that game. Super bad. Yeah. Me and Brooks were already making plans to go leave at halftime. Or yeah, maybe before. <laughs> there we go. Get warm. <laughs> it's very, very cold that game. But my number two is that second quarter comeback. And really the second half of the second quarter. Yeah. That comeback to go from down. I think we're down 20 almost. Something like that. I'll have it right in front of me. The and then to be... All of a sudden, get touchdown, interception, touchdown, field goal at the end. Like you went from down real bad, looking terrible, to down one with tons of momentum at halftime. Totally shifted that game, that locker, and that stadium. Like huge swing and turn of events. Yeah, so that's yeah. why that second quarter comeback is, and it kept us there. <laughs> that's hard it to do. It kept us there. Um, I spent a little more money on the drinks there in that, you know, half and third quarter, but yeah, appreciative of that comeback. Yeah, you don't have the field storming or anything without that second quarter. So, uh, yeah, pretty good moment. So, your number one moment now. Probably the the same here. It looks like that field rush of Texas. Yeah. Walk off from Trey Wolf there. Overtime victory. Bijan fumbles. We talked about that already. And, I mean, that was the first big moment of Joey McGuire era and this team of this year and this student and fan base getting a rush to field against them. Like that was also a crazy come fourth quarter comeback. You were down two scores in that game, 17 points from forgetting, remembering correctly. Um, So another comeback, big win, big overtime win against big, bad team from down South thinks they're better than everybody. And so that was, and then the, the, Field storming, yeah. The sea of red, the whole field, yeah. And there was a sea of red on that sucker. It was amazing to see. Yeah, that's that's mine. Trey Wolf walking off Texas in overtime. I mean, just what can't you say about that game? Joey McGuire comes in in his first year, beats Texas at home. Something he hadn't done since two thousand and eight, oh. and the Crabtree catch. Like you get to have another moment just there watching him and you're not going to have too many more moments like that. You know, we, we know Texas is leaving for uh, another conference soon. And so you don't know if you're going to get another opportunity to play them at home and you, uh, and you win in that fashion and over time with like what you said, you had to come back, you had to come from behind to win that game. Um, you had to make the plays, you got the fumble. It was just a really fun game, a really cool experience. And yeah, the whole field was covered. I mean, it was just completely covered. It. We didn't rush that one. We took some good pictures, though, had a good time, uh, enjoyed our pre-game tailgating and all that stuff. It was a great day. It was a great day to be a Red Raider. Catch y'all at the next tailgate.